चैलेंजेज यू फेस यू रिप्रेजेंट द लीडरशिप ऑफ ग्लोबल फाइनेंस एंड इकोनॉमी एट अ टाइम वेन द वर्ल्ड इज फेसिंग सीरियस इकोनॉमिक डिफिकल्टीज द कोविड पेंडेमिक है डिलीवर्ड अ वंस इन अ सेंचुरी ब्लो टू द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी many countries especially developing economies are still coping with its after effects we are also witnessing rising geopolitical tensions in different parts of the world there are disruptions in global supply chains many societies are suffering due to rising prices and food and energy security have become major concerns across the world even the financial viability of many countries is threatened by unsustainable debt levels trust in international financial institutions has eroded this is partly because they have been slow to reform themselves it is now up to you the custodians of the leading economies and monetary systems of the world to bring back stability confidence and growth to the global economy it is not an easy task however i hope that you will draw inspiration from the vibrancy of the indian economy indian consumers and producers are optimistic and confident about the future we hope that you will be able to transmit the same positive spirit to the global economy i would urge that your discussions should focus on the most vulnerable citizens of the world only by creating an inclusive agenda will the global economic leadership win back the confidence of the world the theme of our g20 presidency also promotes this inclusive vision one earth one family one future excellencies even as the world population has crossed 8 billion progress on sustainable development goals seems to be slowing down we need to collectively work to strengthen multilateral development banks for meeting global challenges like climate change and high debt levels excellencies in the world of finance technology is increasingly dominant during the pandemic digital payments enable contactless and seamless transactions however some recent innovations in digital finance also pose risk of destabilization and misuse i hope that you will explore how the power of technology can be used for good while developing standards to regulate its possible risks 
India's own experience can be a model. Over the past few years, we have created a highly secure, highly trusted, and highly efficient public digital infrastructure. Our digital payments ecosystem has been developed as a free public good. This has radically transformed governance, financial inclusion, and ease of living in India. As you are meeting in Bangalore, the technology capital of India, you will have first-hand experience of how Indian consumers have embraced digital payments. In fact, during our G20 presidency, we have created a new system. This allows our G20 guests to use India's path-breaking digital payment platform, UPI. As you make use of it and experience its ease of use, you will understand why Indian consumers have adopted it so willingly. Examples like UPI can be templates for many other countries too. We would be happy to share our experience with the world. And the G20 can be a vehicle for this. Excellencies, I once again thank you all for your participation in this important meeting and wish you all the best for very productive and successful discussions. Thank you.